my name is Luz Mariana Perez Montoya. I'm a PhD student of SimbeStaff in Mexico. And the topic uh, for this presentation is circular bioeconomy as a key or to a sustainable future. Case study opportunities to improve coffee processing in Chiapas, Mexico. Coffee. Coffee is one of the most popular beverage in the world. It is a, um, the coffee is the sec second most valuable commercial product in the world after oil. Currently, coffee consumption is more than 3 billion cups per day, and uh, worldwide and commercially, more than 50 uh, countries produce coffee. One of these countries is uh, my country, that is Mexico. But not all in coffee processing is good. There are um, negative uh, slides. Uh, I don't know, but did you know that on average, a 200 milliliters cup of coffee generates 36 grams of waste? Yeah. That is, of one coffee cherry, just 10% is used, and the remaining 90% corresponds to agro-industrial agro waste. Like you can see in this picture, this is the uh, composition of the coffee cherry. We only uh, take advantage uh, the extract that we obtain of the grain. The rest that is uh, correspond to peel, pulp, mucilago, husk, and uh, after to have the extract of the grain, all of this is correspond the 90% that is agro-industrial waste. What about Mexico? Uh, because this is my case study. Uh, for Mexico, coffee is a strategic group because in Mexico, uh, we uh, have the first, uh, we are in the first places as a exporter of organic coffee. The principal state in Mexico that produce coffee are Chiapas, Guerrero, Oaxaca, and Puebla. And of all of these, the main state that produce coffee is Chiapas, with the 41% of the national volume. Uh, also, coffee production is important for Mexicans because in these entities, there is a significant number of a small producers, which in turn correspond to indigenous groups. Another uh, situation that I think is important for the Mexican uh, is about the communities. The 85% uh, are a small producer, and these producers are uh, indigenous groups. For this 85%, the 91% has the cafe culture like the uh, main income. Uh, the monthly salary of a coffee producer in Mexico is 1,600 Mexican pesos, uh, working 35 hours per week. It's uh, more or less uh, 83 euros uh, per 35 hours per week. So uh, this is a Mexican, sorry, a Mexican coffee producer earns 12 Mexican pesos per hour. That's impossible. <laughs> well, it's possible. <laughs> and uh, it is like uh, 0.62 euros per hour. So it's really very bad situation. And for this reason, I'm interested in to develop this kind of project. An example of a um, Mexican community is Productores Organicos del Tacana. This coffee uh, community is located in the southwest of Mexico, in the state of Chiapas. Uh, in the Tacaná Volcano Biosphere Reserve, this community uh, has 150 producers, 13 communities. Uh, there are uh, an important ethnic group called Mame, and the important uh, region to uh, develop this kind of processing is Cacahuatán a Union Juárez. Uh, thanks to the properties of volcano soil, uh, their growth a uh, coffee with special qualities. For this reason, in Mexican, one of the company uh, uh, called Restaurante Stock Talks was interested in to develop a um, project with us 
for this kind of project. This community uh, developed the, pro uh, this, uh, the process, processing the coffee, sorry, by a semi technific processing. This about eight steps. The first is coffee cultivation, coffee harvest, wet processing, that is the, the spulping, and washing and fermenting. After this is drying, after shelling, after toast and ground, and finally, the coffee consumption, like in the coffee break, right? Okay, uh, like, as you can see uh, some pictures, I had the opportunity to visit this community and it was a wonderful um, experience, a memory, because um, I can saw uh, how is the process developed in that region. In this picture, you can see the um, the coffee in all the steps by the process. First of all, you can see two kind of coffee. One of these is Arabica coffee, maybe you have listened that. Another is Robusta coffee. The coffee that has uh, um, better pro properties is Arabica coffee. This kind of coffee is that, it, it, that is cultivated in the region of Mexico in Chiapas. When um, this uh, Robusta Arabica coffee uh, is in the first step. It generates the first waste that is called coffee pulp that is this. After the, the fermentation, it generates the coffee mucilla. After the, dry, the drying, it uh, generates the pergamino coffee and another waste that is uh, called coffee husk. After this, we can obtain golden coffee, and after to toast and ground, we can obtain the coffee ground. So, in all the process of coffee, we can uh, saw that at four mainly residues that it generate, that is uh, coffee pulp, coffee mucilla, coffee husk, and coffee grounds. Uh, according to Molina Guerrero in 2020, this kind of uh, waste are, has an energetic potential uh, about 2,000 million pentajoules per year. And uh, also, uh, these residues have a chemical composition, breaking lipids and carbohydrates mainly, offering the possibility of using them as raw material to produce second generation bio biofuels. Uh, for this reason, uh, we can to use all of these properties to develop uh, this kind of project by the uh, circular bioeconomy, using the definition of bioeconomy that is transform and, and use the resources of biological origin to produce and tra transform biomass. And the definition of circular economy that is maximum use of resources while generating minimum waste. And, um, and we want to develop a sustainable biorefinery of second generation. Until this moment, we can develop an experimental system of bioethanol production using Saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast at an aerobic condition of the Pasteur effect. That are the conditions that we use. And as a result, we uh, have a gel of 0 0.23 uh, kilograms of bioethanol per kilogram of coffee mustilago. And also we can to develop an experimental system to produce biodiesel from the extraction of fatty acid for coffee grounds weight, this through the solid liquid method. And we can obtain a gel of um, 0 0.23 284 kilograms biodiesel per kilo, kilograms of coffee grounds. And uh, we can, in this moment, to uh, produce liquid biofuels, uh, bioethanol, and biodiesel mainly. And taking a batch of the 30% of the coffee waste that it generates in Mexico right now. Uh, also, this is important for this kind of project to generate. Um, like a networking is like a, a kind of this. We need the participation. We need the, the collaboration of different actors. In this project, uh, the academic actor is one of the most important. 
and here is participate Simba staff and Universidad Mexiquense del Bicentenario. Uh, also is, uh, is with us a government actor called El Gobierno del Estado de Chiapas. Also, we have the opportunity to work with a corporative actor, in this case, is Restaurante Stocks. Also, we are working with a social actor, that is Productores Organicos del Tacaná. And in this moment, we are looking for international actors to collabor collaborate with us in this kind of project. I'm grateful for all of these uh, institutions, Simbe staff, DSTS, Universidad Mexiquense del Bicentenario y Unidad de Estudios Superiores Tultitlán. And it's all. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you.